viewers this is just fake network tv a place where you can get the latest information about nigeria news for those who subscribe I want to say a very big thank you to you i would say god bless you for subscribing if i yet to do so please kindly press the subscription button below and out the news in details yoruba group petitions buhari others over recruitment upon yoruba group yoruba appraisal forum has petitioned president muhammad buhari lagos governor babajide sonwolu the leadership of the National Assembly and the service chiefs over alleged hijack of the newly launched Southwest Security Outfit, Amateku, by some individuals for sinister purposes, which can be injurious to the corporate existence of Nigeria. The group also petitioned the Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Adamu, the Director General of the Department of State Service, Yusuf Magajibichi, the National Security Advisor, Major General Babangana Monguno, the Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Rahuv Aregbeshola, and Minister of Police Affairs, Alhaji Magari Dengaji. Others also petitioned by the groups are the Chief of Defense Staff, General Abayomi, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Toko Burata, Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral, and the Chief of Year Staff, here, Masha Sadiq Abu Baka. The group urged President Buhari to take urgent and decisive the step to prevent the threat to human lives and properties that may arise from the Southwest through the operations of their multiple security outfit. He further warned the governor of the six Southwest states to refrain from signing into the law the bill for the establishment of a multiple passed recently by the State House of Assembly in the geopolitical zone. The group also urged the police, Department of State Services, armed forces and their intelligence unit, as well as the National Intelligence Agency to carry out fresh but thorough investigations on a multiple with a view to ascertaining the real intention of those who had a deadly hijacked the security initiative from the original people who conceived the idea. In a commune, communique issued at the end of the group's meeting in Lagos and made available to journalists, it alleged that unknown to most Nigerians, including those in authority, some unscrupulous individuals had hijacked the initiative to achieve their own selfish and sinister purposes. It stated that its last findings about a multiple, which were shocking, had now become a source of serious concern regarding the Southwest Security Initiative. The community said, although the intention of those who originally conceived the idea of a multiple was a noble one, as they set out to protect the people of the region against criminal elements causing want on destructions of lives and properties. The idea has been hijacked and now intended for purposes that could be injurious to the continued corporate existence of Nigeria. We have, un we have uncovered plans to use a motorcycle to, de to destabilize the southwest and ultimately the entire country. It's an incontrovertible fact that in the event of any chaos in the southwest, people from other parts of the country residing in the region Igbo, Awusa and others will bear the brunt as no one can guarantee the safety of their persons, business and investment in Yoruba land. The current, the current promoters are hijackers of the ideas to the Southwest governors and the innocent people of the region who sees it as a new force to provide them adequate security against the activities of criminal elements since the police seem overwhelmed by the security challenges across the country have through the various means, subtle and outright naked threat, taking over a motorcycle for the purpose of achieving their selfish agenda of dismembering Nigeria. Of course, in collaboration with their foreign sponsors, the indications to these are very clear.
the Southwest governors are ignorant by throwing their weight and resources behind a security outfit, whose real motive they are not aware of. We made bold to say that the reality is that a motaku is an instrument to perpetrate crimes and make political gains for a few individuals masquerading as having the love of the people of the region as, at heart. The group's communique further stated, Our concern here is that if a motaku is not stopped now, that Nigerian nation may not even live to regret the creations of this leopard in which belly it may end up. God forbid. The indications are clear enough to discern that Amodeku will eventually become the Frankenstein monster that the country won't be able to control. Having another rebellion from the southwest will be one crisis too, many for a country still struggling to combat the Boko Haram insurgency in the northeast banditry and cattle rustling in the northeast and north central areas as well militancy in the south south the plan is that once amoteco gains foothold in the region the new promoters and their foreign sponsors will now show their real colors their real intention by hunting other ethnic groups in the southwest in the name of providing security in the region and in the process embark on the sort of ethnic cleansing and ultimately expelling other Nigerians from Yoruba land through force and violence, the backlash of which will retaliations in the other region. The nationwide chaos, violence and destruction of people and human lives that would result from these developments across the country are best imagined than experienced. The group enjoyed President Buhari to prevail on the Southwest governors not to sign the Amotaku bill into law until proper and thorough security checks had been done on the outfit. It added, We call on the President and Commander in Chief of Armed Forces of Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, to take urgent and decisive steps to nip the Bogoni insurrection now threatening to arise. From the southwest under the cover of a multiple security outfit in the board. We enjoined President Buhari to use his good offices to call the southwest governors to order to prevailing on them not to sign the Amotaku bill into law yet until the proper checks about such a security outfit are done. Thorough investigations and checks need to be carried out on Amotaku and the intentions of its current promoter Sajaikas. We are not crying wolf where none exist. It is proper for the federal government to take urgent steps to stop the suicide missions the Southwest governors have unknowingly embarked upon with their backing of the arrangement, especially their impending signing of the bill given the evil contraption a legal backing into law. The Southwest governors should be desouded from innocently equipping and funding a security outfit that some Inscrupulous and wicked individuals have planned to use against the same people the governors have sworn to protect. The Southwest governors should be made to realize that they should not allow themselves to be railroaded into taking an action they will not regret later. They will regret later, sorry. The Southwest governors should not allow their scarce state resources to be used in funding outsiders and foreign other people whose main objective is to destabilize the southwest regions and the country in collaboration with some inscrupulous citizens. The national security agencies, including the Nigerian Police Force, the National Intelligence Agency, the French Intelligence Agency, the Department of State Services, need to profile the current promoters hijacker of the Amoteco security outfits with a view to ascertaining its real membership and their original intention. We advise that President Buhari holds discussion with the Southwest governors on the concerns we have raised about Amerteku. A station time that says, saves nine. We must not wash Italy as the enemies of the countries hide under the smoke screen of running a regional security outfit to engage in activities that are not only inimical but also injurious to the continued corporate existence of the entire Nigerian nation. Wow. So, guys, the only thing I can say is that Amoteku is here to stay. Is here to stay. Nothing, nobody can stop Amoteku because it is a source of protection to Yoruba land.
and to Yoruba people entirely. They may try to place any game, but they will never win. Anybody that is against Amoteko will never win that game. Amoteko has come to stay, and there is nothing, I mean nothing, they can do about it. So guys, what do you think? What is your own take? Kindly you drop your comment at the comment section. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very, very big thank you to you for subscribing. I want to say thank you. God bless you. And we really appreciate you. And please kindly press the notification button for more updates on our latest news. God bless you once again.